Hey, what's up guys? We are here with a crazy day. We got some yard sales going on. Ah, we got the kids laughing, dogs barking, birds chirping, once again. But most importantly, we have Alex Billion's beautiful eight inch lifted XJ sitting in my driveway. Why? Because we are gonna put some leather seats in here. We're getting the power seats right over there. And they're going in this bad boy. Let's check this thing out first. Give you a quick walk around. All right guys, so we gotta prepare these seats to get in this Jeep. And the first rule before you do any kind of seat work, you gotta check for change. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in my pocket and I'm gonna disassemble the seat so I can touch this up with poor 15. Now these braces where the seats go, it acts like a straw. And for some reason, it sucks up all the moisture and these things always rust, even with a fresh coat of paint. So we're gonna do this right. We're gonna pour 15 it. So we're gonna start taking this apart. Okay, first order of business and taking apart the seat is we're gonna start with the uh, trim panel. Now it's got two long screws right here on the side. Come on, screw. And it's got one more in the back. Now once the trim panel is removed, you got two short screws in here. But it's hard to get to because you don't have a lot of slack with uh, these wires. So you gotta get your nubby little screwdriver and get it in here. Now you can detach your control unit from the trim panel. Now make sure you don't pull too hard on this because you will snap your control panel right off your trim piece. And that would suck because these trim panels for the power seats are almost impossible to find, especially on the passenger side. <laughs> Good luck finding a set of those. So we got this off, we're gonna set it aside and we're gonna keep all our screws in a safe place. All right, next we're gonna lay this seat down so we can detach the seat from the base and you're gonna to wanna to lay it down on a nice clean surface, a surface that's not gonna damage the back of the seat. A rug, preferably, not the driveway, not the street. So we're gonna tilt this back and then we're gonna get up in here with a 13 millimeter. Not up in here! Uh, right there, 13 millimeter and 13 millimeter. We're gonna detach the seat from the frame and not this side bracket, which is probably easier to get to, but we're just gonna do the seat for now. Now don't be scared to get up in here. Not up in here! There's plenty of room to put your hand in. It's not gonna bite. Once you figure out how everything should go, you'll be able to access it quite easily. All right, the front two are off. I'm gonna flip it, get the back two. All right, we got all four out. Now, we just gotta disconnect the heated seat portion of the seat. And we're gonna run the control panel through the opening. And there we go. Okay, we have the seat separated from the base. I'm just gonna clean this one up, and then I'm going to take apart the second seat. Huh, look at that. The seats did bite. <laughs> I 
Leave it to a Jeep to make me eat my words. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to take the passenger seat apart, and then we can scrub up all these mounts, and then pour 15 of them. Okay, guys, before I go any further, I just want to test these motors and the switches to make sure everything works. And I'm going to use my handy-dandy lab bench tester that I made, and I'll put a link in the video. Right there. Click it. So, all right. These seat motors... I think they get a bad rep because uh, a lot of times they don't work. So obviously people are going to talk smack about them. They always say, let's go manual because the power seats fail. Well, I'm going to show you why in a minute. Let me just test these to make sure they work. All right, I'm looking at these wires and got red on this side, black on here. So I'm going to connect red to this pin. I'm gonna go ground to this pin. All right. Can't see this right now because it's bugging out on account of the frame rate. <laughs> anyway, it's 12 volts. I'm on 12 volts, perfect. So, time to test. Up, down. slow up and down forward back up down all right so every motor works i know this because up down left right all work on here now i'm having a slow up on this switch and i'll show you why so we're going to open this up and examine what's going on in here all right, just going to take a little flathead screwdriver, pry up these clips. There's three for the whole outside case. And the buttons come right out. Now we got to open up this and take a look inside. Let's go to the bench. Okay, so unlike the master switch for the windows and locks, we don't need to remove these buttons. We're just going to start by separating the black from the white plastic in here and be careful not to touch these copper pieces so let's do that <laughs> Fast forward three hours later. <laughs> All right, check this out. This is probably one of my most favorite XJ parts because of the intricacies of all these switches. Now let's take a closer look. Now when you toggle these buttons up and down, they hit the portion of the switch right about here. So we're going to see what happens when we hit these switches. Hit right here, and it goes down. Okay, so now why would the seat not be working well when you move this switch up and down? Well, because these switches are on the outermost portion of this circuitry here. So, if you look really close, you can see that these contacts are dirty. They get dirty because of all the junk under the seat. It kind of sneaks up under here, and guess what? This is the first place for the junk to settle. Right on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little piece of sandpaper... On this screwdriver, we're going to scrub it clean. Make sure that it makes good contact. We're just going to sand gently right in between here. Just a little bit. There. That's all there is to it. Now let's put this thing back together and give it another test. And make sure when you put this back together that you didn't lose this spring. Spring in here. And a little nub in here. Whoop! <laughs> that was great. You shot me in the face. What if you shot me in the face? Nice. 
All right, we're back up here with our setup. We're gonna check these buttons. Up, down, front, up, down, back, forward, backward, up, down, both. Perfect, that's it, man. These get a bad rap because of this switch. Now don't chuck your power seats, fix them, or send them to me and I'll take them. <laughs> all right, now that they work, we're gonna clean them all up. Oh, you know what, let me show you one other thing. These motors take the same plugs, so quickly you can swap them out. If you think one is bad, and you're not sure if it's the switch or the motor, you can just pull these plugs swap them around and there now you're able to test the back motor with the front switch so yeah it's just a neat little trick I wanted to show you all right we're gonna clean these bad boys up Skin. <laughs> Putting skin singles. Uh, not recording, right? Yep. <laughs> oh no. All right, magic time. Four fifteen. Here we go. All right, we got these seat frames all poor 15, driver and passenger, looking real good. Gonna let them cure up, go on a beer run, and then when we're back, we're gonna remove the seats from that bad boy. All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna start taking seats out, and I guess we'll do the back seat first. So this one is the simplest, the bottom bench. Just click this lever, and this slides right out. And this one, Slides right back in its place. Line up the hole and clip this on. Leather baby. Looking good already. All right, and the top seat comes out with two 15 millimeter bolts, and they're right here in the corners and the wheel wells. Ta-da! Now I wish I had the skills to remove the seat with the tripod and camera <laughs> at once. I'm gonna have to uh, use Alex for a hand. <laughs> there we go. 
and all the way up. Sweet. Seat belts are out too. There we go. Incoming. Give it a test. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Nobody saw it. <laughs> All right, the back seats are in, so the front seats must come out. 13 millimeter up front. Now the back side. <laughs> back side. Ooh, a dime. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> Get it nice and loose with the wrench and just zip it out with the impact. All right, so now it comes down to the infamous seat bolt, the one that always breaks off. Why? Because this stupid seat bolt comes right through the bottom of the vehicle. So I'm gonna hit this with uh, my favorite tool, the torch, and I'm gonna try to break it free of any rust before I start to spin it. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh yeah, that's a win right there. Fantastic. Ooh, <laughs> that's hot. All right, that's come. All right, we got the seats out. Now what we wanna do is check to see if this Jeep came with the harness for power seats. So since most sports were equipped with the wire harness, even though they didn't have power seats, uh, we're gonna see if this has it. So hopefully it does. <laughs> we're in luck, I see it. We have this thing. <laughs> now this thing was probably right about here underneath and it was folded in half and it's connected off. So this is what we'll tap into for our driver's side and I'll make a splice somewhere back over there in that mess for our passenger side. But first, we're just gonna test this out, make sure this has power and powers the seats. All right guys, so I got my freshly Pour 15 seat base up in Alex's Jeep. Um, I found a connector for a power seat. <laughs> Don't ask me how, somewhere in my pile of crap, it just appeared and uh, I only found one. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to cut this connector. This is supposed to be for the power seat harness. Uh, this is gonna get cut and I'm gonna wire this directly to here and this could run right up into the seat. Uh, for the passenger side, like I said before, I'm gonna splice it in more on the passenger side and have a shorter wire run. Uh, so. I'm going to cut this, wire it up, and see if it works. Um, now when you're cutting the wire, when the battery's still connected, don't cut them both at the same time, because as you cut, they will short out. So you're gonna wanna cut each individually, and then I'm gonna strip them, and link them up, and we'll see if the seat gets power. All right, guys, this is great. Now you know you could wire up a Jeep that didn't come with power seats with the existing wire harness with only a couple quick splices and you have power seats ready to go. That is awesome. All right, so I'm gonna clean up everything. I'm gonna make a, a new joint with some uh, nice solder and then we'll do the passenger side, and get this thing all back together.
All right, these joints look pretty good. Nice and even. Shrinking tube. That's my torch. Not the big one. You guys are pyro hose. All right, so now we're here on the passenger side and about right in the middle. Gonna splice into the power for the seats and I'm gonna use uh, some red and yellow. <laughs> Hulkamania styles. That's right, brother. I'm gonna make a T joint right about in here. So let me grab a knife. Where's my knife? All right, to make a T joint or a T splice, you just want to kind of peel away a little bit of the wires. You don't want to cut it. So I'm just gonna roll this blade around the edge over here, and then maybe about a half an inch over. I'll do the same. gently scoring the insulation and now I'm gonna just gently carve it away ever so slightly just brushing the surface exposing a little bit of the copper now I'll use my fingernails there and just peel it back cool so there, we got two potential T-joints that will never come in contact, so we don't have to worry about shorts. Great. Now let's hook up the wires. So you're gonna wanna split this into two, two equal sections. And I like to go one on top and one on the bottom. And I'm just gonna roll this side up and roll this side down. That way they won't spin off together. That's nice and tight. Here, check it out. I ran the wires all the way out here for the time being, just for a test. If you do have the wire harness that's curled up under here, like I showed you before, that is the power seat harness. And you could tap into that for the driver's seat and I just tapped into this. I made more T-joints on the passenger side. I'm gonna tape this all up when I'm done. All right, we got the interior all set up. We got our wire for the power and the driver's side and coming over. Oh, what up, Dan? <laughs> Alex has got a sweet iPad mount and he's watching me right now. So uh, yeah, coming over to the passenger side. We got our passenger power coming through. I just gotta put on the connectors. And um, yeah, let me do that right now. <laughs> That's great. All right, so I got my wires coming up from the passenger side and I got the base sitting here and this is what I have to make connect. Um, I found a connector from another vehicle that I stripped apart <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna force the connectors that were in here into these and then shrink wrap them. So I already went ahead and crimped these connectors on and I'm gonna put them in, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna snip off this plug right here. We'll save this for another power seat job. <laughs> All right, let's plug it in, see what we got. All right, power works, jackpot. <laughs> cool, all right, let's take these out. We're gonna bolt the seats onto them, vacuum this whole area, put the seats back in, we'll call it a day.
All right, here we go. Got to put on the seats. Back, forward, front up, rear up, front down, rear down, both up, both down. Passenger side, check. Front up, front down, rear down, rear up, forward, back, both up, both down. Yeah, that's a wrap. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, the seats are in. Check this out. This looks sick. Looks clean. Clean and sick. <laughs> That's me. Huh? You know what? Let's get a once over this whole thing. This is one badass x ray. I am honored to have this beast in my driveway. Hey, we got tools. This X-Ray's got the nice two-tone interior. Now it's got the black A-gate seats. Looks really sharp. Looks really sharp with the gray trim. I'm digging it. This is coming out great. So if you guys like this x -ray, if you guys want to see more of this x -ray, we'll do a complete walk around. We'll have Alex in on the video too. We'll be sick. We'll do every part of it. This thing's got an eight inch Iron Rock off-road long arm lift is just badass all around. Badass. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this power seat conversion video. This XJ is badass, and if you want to see more of it, don't forget to leave Alex some love in the comments. We'll do a complete walk around video. So that's going to do it. Um, we are done. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to get this guy's Instagram up and running soon. And you might have even followed him already. So that's a wrap, guys. Peace.